For the past 30 years, Corning Matrigel Matrix has been used by researchers across the globe in essential applications, as well as cutting-edge, life-changing research. One area that Matrigel Matrix has been widely and successfully used is in organoid models, an area of research that supports advancements in the study of organogenesis, disease modeling, and subsequently, patient-specific therapies. Corning offers an optimized Matrigel matrix that has been verified to support organoid growth and differentiation. Matrigel matrix for organoid culture provides consistency and reliability and is qualified to form stable 3D dome structures commonly used in the organoid models. To perform the dome method, begin by thawing Matrigel matrix for organoid culture. To thaw, submerge the vials of Matrigel matrix in ice in a 4 degrees Celsius refrigerator, in the back, overnight. Once Matrigel matrix is thawed, swirl the vial or pipette up and down to ensure that the material is evenly dispersed. Place thawed Matrigel matrix for organoid culture in a sterile area that has been sprayed with 70% ethanol and air dried. It is best to thaw the entire vial of Matrigel matrix and aliquot its contents using pre-cooled pipette tips into single-use portions that will be stored frozen until use. Repeatedly thawing Matrigel matrix is not recommended. Matrigel matrix for organoid culture can now be used to create domes. Before plating your domes, pre-incubating cell culture plates at 37 degrees Celsius overnight is recommended. This step encourages better dome formation. There are a few different ways to create domes with Matrigel matrix for organoid culture. The size of the Matrigel matrix dome will depend on your protocol and organoid type. One option is to create one larger volume dome per well. With this option, you may use a dry bath set to 37 degrees Celsius to ensure your plate temperature remains consistent while you work. Working with a pipette and tips, carefully dispense droplets of Matrigel matrix for organoid culture, which includes your organoid mixture, into the middle of the wells. Then let the plate sit on the dry bath for at least 10 minutes until the domes have polymerized. After domes are fully polymerized, a gross cell culture medium should be carefully added to the wells so as not to disturb the matrigel matrix dome. Once medium has been added, place the plate into the incubator and culture your organoids according to your protocol. Another option is to create several smaller volume domes per well. With this method, it is still recommended to pre-incubate your plates at 37 degrees Celsius the night before. Working with a pipette and tips, carefully dispense several droplets of Matrigel matrix for organoid culture, which includes your organoid mixture into the wells. When working with heavier organoids, invert the plate so the organoids settle away from the plate surface and do not attach. Let the plate sit at room temperature for at least 5 minutes until the domes have gelled. Then place the plate into the incubator. Domes should be incubated at 37 degrees Celsius for the Matrigel matrix to polymerize. The length of time required will be dependent on the size of the domes, but typically 10 to 20 minutes is sufficient. After domes are fully polymerized, carefully add a growth cell culture medium, taking care not to disturb the Matrigel matrix domes. Culture organoids according to your protocol. Take care during medium changes not to disrupt the domes. You are now ready to extract your organoids or further passage according to your protocol. To learn more about Matrigel Matrix for organoid culture, contact your local Corning account manager or visit corning.com forward slash Matrigel for organoid for more information.